Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about letter writing. Letter writing can be used both as a letter to ourselves and a letter to others. When I write a letter to myself, I think about when would I want to open this? Is it something I would want to open when I graduate high school? I already did. Do I want to open this really far in the future? Six months from now? Even a week from now? You get to decide. But think about what you would want to see. What would your future self want to know about your past self? You can think about it like a time capsule. How am I feeling? What's going on for me? What song has been stuck in my head recently? Who have I been hanging out with? You could even think about what would I want to accomplish when I read this next? And it's also okay if your goals or your plans for your future self change. So just know that there's no right or wrong way to do this. So that is writing a letter to yourself. Another way to write letters is to others. There are different ways to go about this. You could do it virtually, sending an email or an e-card, and you can also use old-fashioned mail. Thinking about who you want to send the letter to can also determine what kind of format you want to send your letter in. For example, with my close friends, I use this stationery that has comics and cartoons that we used to watch when we were little. So it's kind of goofy and it's fun. To others, maybe family members, or maybe even if the letter feels a little bit more serious, I write it on a card and envelope. It doesn't have to be fancy, it's just one blank sheet and an envelope to go with it so that you can send it in the mail. Some ideas to think about are, what do I appreciate about this person? Maybe what do I miss about this person? Or you could reflect on some times you had with them. It was really cool when, or I really like the way you did this. I really miss this about you. It can also be as simple as thinking of you. There isn't a lot of pressure in terms of a right or wrong way to write a letter. And when we communicate with others, it helps to feel more connected during these times. When we write a letter to others, if we're doing it on paper, we need to have their mailing address and we need a stamp. There is something special about getting something in the mail and opening it from an envelope. And it's tangible, something that you can hold on to. When I get things in the mail from other people, or if it's just a note that has been written, like I even still have notes that my friends wrote to me and passed them to me in class from when I was in middle school. And I keep all of them in a shoebox that I have under my bed and I know that it's there and that I can look through it when I'm going through a hard time. Even if you get something virtually, print it out and put it in a box. That way, whenever you're having a hard time, you can look through it and reflect back. Know that you are cared for and that you are not alone.